we don't have to do any kind of research to say that alligator hunting definitely sounds like one of the most unique and dangerous jobs in the world. However, is the pay worth all the hard work and the risk? Why don't you check out the net worth of the cast of Swamp People to find out? In fact, you can check it out on their net worth and salary right here in this video. The Landry Family It won't be right to start this list without the Landry Family and particularly the patriarch of the family, Troy Landry. The name Landry is synonym with the show Swamp People and the fans can't help but scream Troy's signature phrase, chew them every time they look at him. Troy Landry reportedly earns around $25,000 per episode, and since he appears in majority of the episodes every season, it adds up to a massive net worth. The massive net worth that was thought to be $2 million from very early 2010s is now being revised by many sources to be as much as $3 million as of 2021, probably making him the richest member of the cast. His oldest son, Jacob Landry, holds the second seniority in the show and thus also makes the same $25,000 per episode as salary. However, look at the difference of appearing in more episodes and season as he has relatively much lower net worth of only around $500,000. Following that is Troy's younger son, Chase Landry, who only makes around $3,000 per episode. He has been fishing and hunting gators alone and without help from his father for a long time. However, what really diminished his salary and net worth was a 2017 incident where Chase Landry opened fire on another boat in self-defense after that fishing boat began heading at great speed towards his own vessel. Still, a court case was brought up against him, and when he failed to show up in court, things almost went overboard as the Louisiana police even signed a warrant for Chase's arrest. The matter was settled shortly after discreetly, and Chase has returned to his daily life. It still affected his net worth greatly, which is still stuck at around $200,000. The Edgar Family we are not practicing nepotism, but introducing the next big family only seems to go with the flow. The Edgar family is led by Daniel Edgar, and while they are also as prominent in the region as traditional alligator hunters and fishermen and the Landrys, they have made a very late debut on Swamp People only from Season 7. Both Daniel Edgar and his older son Joey Edgar, despite such late arrival, have quickly climbed in ranks to become popular cast members. Thus, they are said to earn as much as $10,000 in terms of salary. Daniel's net worth currently stands at approximately $100,000, which stems not just from his salary as a reality star, but the two successful seafood companies that he owns and operates. His son, Joey Edgar, who holds the same salary, still has his net worth under review, but since he will probably be the one that his father entrusts the whole family business to. Therefore, he will also be one day earning the net worth of $100,000 or even more. Daniel also has a younger son, Dwayne Edgar, who is mostly busy pursuing other interests and is also a baseball player at a college level. He still momentarily joins his father and brother though, and has even made it to a handful of episodes of Swamp People. However, that is not enough to estimate either his net worth or salary for now. Terrell Evans Though biologically not a member of the Landry family, you will not see Troy Landry treat Terrell Evans anything differently than related. It is exactly what you would expect from men who have been best friends for decades and fishing partners for all those times. Since Evans has momentarily been absent from Swamp People for multiple seasons, his salary is hard to estimate, but many credible sources have placed his net worth to be as much as $1.5 million, which gives us a faint idea of how large his salary must be. William Willie Edwards and Willie Edwards Jr. The only other cast member other than Troy and Jacob Landry who continues to star in the show we couldn't place William Willie Edwards any lower on the list. It may be why we also see him as a rival to Troy as they often compete hunting gators. All the salary received from appearing in every season of Swamp People thus far must be massive since even though we do not have the exact amount, Edwards holds an impressive net worth of around $500,000. 
As of season 11, he has brought his son, Willie Edwards Jr., or as everyone else calls him, Little Willie, to assist him as well as pass on the tips of the trade to the next generation. It is still too early to estimate Little Willie's net worth and salary right now, but we are sure we will have the number soon enough. Ashley Jones it would be wrong to not mention the most famous woman hunter among the very few female cast members of the show, Ashley Jones. She joined the show only in season 10, but Jones is also relatively a bit of a rookie in the business. Thus, she only holds a net worth of $50,000, which means that her salary should only be around $1,000 per episode, maybe even less. However, we are sure if Ashley is able to keep up with the veteran, both her experience as well as net worth and salary will grow over time. We missed a lot of other cast members like Joseph Big T Richard, Ronnie Adams and Zach Bagans, among others, but as you all know, much of the cast is currently new to the show. We do not have fair estimates on their salary, so why even bother? RJ Moliniere also and his son J. Paul Moliniere both left the show in 2019, which makes them unqualified to be on the list. However, both the father's son leave with large net worth as RJ Moliniere was believed to be around $700,000 and J. Paul Moliniere at a stunning $2 million. They also reportedly made over $100,000 in their annual salary. All new season of Swamp People, season 12, will begin airing from February 4th, 2021, despite predictions about a delay. Make sure you watch the new season, and perhaps the net worth and salary will increase as soon as the new season, which we are sure will be a hit, ends.